seems to be balanced today. Okay. Oh, I'm to messing with pink poodle if I have enough stuff. I think I gotta go get some more water because it's really thick. Okay, well everybody soaked in cement. There's that was the pink poodle. That was the dog. Hopefully it's gonna stay on there. I may have to after it dries come back and put a little more cement to reinforce that. I guess his, the doggy's ears are going to be sticking straight up when he gets turned over because I couldn't figure out any way to make those ears stay stay down. So, yeah, I had lots of cement left, so I had some more little toys. That's a octopus there. A llama, another washcloth that maybe will make a flower pot. Only I didn't have the thoughts, pre thoughts on it to put a hole in it for drainage, so I don't know. <laughs> and that little blob right there was a little fish. On this one, I was going to say, hopefully, yeah, like right there, you can see it. I made, and there's one right there. They're not real low down, but I did, there's one right there, I did make drain holes around them so that if I put a flower in it, it can drain the water. So anyway, well, let's see. We'll check them all out in the morning. So far, we've had black clouds rumbling over, but no rain. So hopefully these guys will have time to dry out. And uh, like I said, I may, on the doggy holding the flower pot, have to mix up a little bit more. Maybe even, <laughs> I may have to level his feet off some too when he gets turned back upside, up the other way. But that's it for now. It's hot out here. I think it's 100 degrees. My little shades keeps missing me as you see the sun's over this way. So I'm heading inside. Talk to you later. Okay, it's the next morning after we did this concrete little, or excuse me, cement project. Uh, we'll see what's going on here. Here's my little octopusy. I don't know, don't know if I like the way it turns out so clunky dunky. You know. That looks nothing like a fish. Uh, I may have to set the camera down to take these things apart because they're kind of, kind of stuck. So let me take them apart and then I'll show you. Well, these pots are all dried out now and still very, very disappointed. This is, this was my second attempt with working with cement and just not successful as I had seen YouTubers soaking the toy animals in cement. I don't know whether I didn't, didn't have enough. Uh, wetness to it or what my one little draped flower pot turned out okay uh, I did after I added that extra strengthening to it uh, I may clean him up a little and paint it the rest of them I don't even know you know my octopus <laughs> yeah he turned out he's kind of cute Move him over here so you can see him better 
yeah, I may paint some eyeballs on him and, and paint him. But you can still see the fabric from the toy. But these two bigger pieces, for one thing, they're extremely heavy. Uh, and this was just a draped flower pot on top of the puppy. And as you can see, it's, it's cracked. And this was putting my second coat on using uh, sand in the cement. And down here where it's soft, it's still it's still all cracked. So, I don't know. I'm, I'll do something else. I may try to, if I want to make animal figure rings, I may try to make my, make a wire sculpture, maybe wire and some aluminum foil like I do with my clay sculptors. Uh, or so. I still may paint this poodle. He's actually, he's pretty sturdy. If you can make out the ears. One of his eyes got covered with the semen. I don't know if I can chip through and find it again. But, yeah. Yeah, he, he's pretty sound and sturdy. Not, not cracking like this one was so um, I may give him a coat of paint and paint and do him paint but for right now I don't know I'm pretty much done with playing with the cement for a while it it's so hard the weather's been either raining or hot in fact right after I had finished them it came these it came up a rain so I had to bring a tarp out and cover them all, all up but yep yeah, yep yeah. This is my second deal of cement crafts, so uh, let me know if you have any suggestions. If you've done anything like soaking uh, toys, I would have thought it would have been the same as soaking a piece of fabric and making the drape, but apparently not, unless I just, like I said, I just didn't get it thin enough and didn't soak good enough. But I thought with coming and putting the second coat, it might toughen it up. It actually toughened up the poodle a little, but this guy's still, as you can see, still loose, limber, and the cement is actually cracking off of it. So, I may go ahead and stick a plant in it and stick it over in the corner of my yard somewhere for some yard art but definitely he's not going to get paint painted he may paint these two so anyway second cement project <laughs> not, not so good so i'm loving watching pictures of other people's and, and I'm going to still try, keep experimenting and try to get better with it. So everyone have a nice day. Uh, this will be my first video that I made a new intro with me doing crafting stuff instead of just my intro about searching for treasures. Now I'm just searching for answers on how to how to make cement that doesn't crack. But, uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy my new intro about the the uh, projects that I, I work on and do and you'll come on over and and give it a thumbs up a share and comments and especially if you got tips and and tricks on how to do this uh, I'm pretty sure everybody else I know I, I, I like to read about it and I'm sure everybody else will too so have a wonderfully blessed day and I hope you enjoyed the video and come back again often to my channel SB55 shop S-H-O-P-P-E uh, is my eBay store and that's the name I use on my uh, channel and there will be a link down in the descriptions to my eBay store. Always looking for good treasures and maybe someday I'll get good enough with this that we can consider them a treasure and uh, put them up. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.